In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get from this part here, which is fully defined, the rectangle with two side bits on there, we've fully dimensioned. Please note that 7 is the gap from there to there. This is 10, that's 3, and then the same on the side. Overall, 22, and overall, 138. So we're going to turn this bit here into this. Things to look out for, we're going to add in five finger joints, okay? We're going to start from one end, where the spacing is. So we're going to draw it in, space it away 10, make it 13 by 3, make another one by 13 by 3, and again, space it by 13 all the way along, okay? Noticing that the middle one is 14. When we've done that, we're going to add in the circle, which will smart to mention this, the width of the circle, and then it's the height away from the line, and then the sides away from there, okay? So in SolidWorks, I've got this part, so I'm going to add in a rectangle. I'm going to draw it here, okay? Remember when I'm drawing the rectangles, I don't need to be accurate, I'm just putting the shape in. The smart dimension will do all the kind of accurate stuff for me. So that's going to be 3 by 13, okay? And then I need to tell it, okay, that it's going to be 10 away from this side. So I need to click on this side, and then that vertical line there, pull away, and I can 10. All right, so that's my first finger joint done. I then just got to repeat that process again, again, again. So draw my rectangles. Again, I don't have to be very accurate when I'm drawing them. Okay, making them 3 by 13, going all the way across. Okay, spacing it 13, so I go vertical line to vertical line, 13. The third finger joint is my middle one, so I need to make sure that one's 14. Again, I'm just throwing in rectangles. It doesn't matter about the kind of shape, as long as it sort of goes on the line. So it's going to go 3 by 13. Ah, I remember there's the 14, this is the central one. So I'm going to go vertical line to vertical line, and that's going to be a 30 space. Okay, I've got two more to do, so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. And zoom in over here. For every point, when you, when you zoom in, it'll allow you to move that direction. So another rectangle. And again, smart dimension. And that's 3 by 13. And again, I'll do that space from this finger joint to that one. And again, it's going to be 13. Last one on the finger joints. Make this drawing on the line, smart dimension, three on the side, 13 on there, and a 13 gap from there to there to 30. Okay, now hopefully when I've done that, I'm back to my gold standard. I've got fully defined computers completely happy. Okay, so now I've got to add in my circle. So I've got my drawing tool up here, and you'll see this one here is called circle. So I click on there. And I draw a circle somewhere in the middle. Be careful not to kind of overlap any lines because that will add a relationship which will make things difficult later. Okay, so just draw a circle in there. The smart dimension, grab the side of that circle, and that's going to be three millimeters. And then I need to distance it from the top to the bottom. Okay? So I go click over the center of the circle, and click that top line, drag it away, and that's going to be millimeters away from there. And I go from the center dot to the right hand side, pull up there, and that's going to be 72. Okay, just double check. Again, we're fully defined, so it's happy. Now I just need to trim the finger joints off that I don't need. So I click on Trim Entities. Always make sure it's on the Trim to Closest, that's the bottom option here. And I'll just go around the finger joints, clicking twice on each one, and you should see that that goes. Okay, so you've got the, uh, so it's just one solid gray bit. I'm just going to have to zoom out and zoom back in again. Remember, if you're struggling to see, do zoom right in. Don't sort of struggle if you can't see something. Okay, and then I've got my final piece there. Okay, so that is, that's the silver. So when you've got that piece there, you want to screenshot that for the silver badge.